Hi, I'm Maria Reed and welcome to Moving with the Military, a show about military families, community, and turning a house into a home. Military family life can be tough with multiple deployments and frequent moves between duty stations. It can be unsettling for a family and creating a, a real home in military housing or even off post housing. It can be one of the biggest challenges. I created Moving with the Military to share the incredible stories of other military families, help them explore the cities near their new duty station, and then design a beautiful space that lets the whole family feel they're truly at home. Please join me as we head to the Fort Benning, Columbus, Georgia area to meet Jordan, Pamela, and their daughters. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Jordan Smith. This is my family. This is my wife, Pamela. This is my daughter, Micah. This is my daughter, Heavenly. And this is my daughter, Destiny. I have an older daughter. My oldest daughter is, uh, is currently in the military. She, uh, she joined the military last September. She got stationed in Korea about two months ago. She's been in Korea for about two months now. I asked my daughter, Harmony, why she joined the military. And you know what she told me? She told me she wanted to be a warrior and a member of the team. Love the country. Want to serve and protect. She watched her dad do it. She knows that how hard of a life that it can be. She knows that uh, it's a good life for her. She has, just like he has all the time, battle buddies is what they call them. Well, before I met Pam, yes, I was a single dad. Um, I was a single dad for a while. Um, I was stationed at Fort Knox at the time, but I had no understanding of what a single parent in the military really had to go through until I was stuck in that situation. And it's, uh, it's a trial, it's really hard. Um, there's a lot of things you have to take care of. I mean, what if you have to deploy for one thing? I just had no way of, you know, at the time, real like trying to find the uh, the care that she would need while I was at work. My unit really helped out, though. My unit was really great. It's a really hard task to raise a child uh, as a single parent in the military. I was stationed at Fort Knox, and uh, I was going through a hard time. And then I met this lovely woman. Um, she had her love with her three lovely daughters, and I had my one lovely daughter, and I guess we brave bunched it, you know, we, <laughs> we all clicked and I loved every one of them dearly and uh, I've been pretty much raising them since they were, you know, all young. We've, We've been, been here living for, here for about three, three months. months. Three months, yeah. And we moved from Fort Hood, Texas, mm -hmm. and we were there for five years. Mm -hmm. It was really hard there, all deployments and all deployments and field, field time. Field and deployments and field deployments and field deployments. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. And that's his job. So, he stick top. Back in uh, 2010, I was diagnosed with PTSD. Um, a lot of a lot of guys had to try to find their own way to deal with uh, with situations or with uh, with uh, any kind of roadblocks they have in their life when it comes to PTSD. Not all PTSD is the same. You get PTSD from all kinds of different things. Like I can totally understand. Like my wife, um, she—I mean, she's she's never been a soldier, but she has PTSD from things that happened in her life. Um, I have PTSD from things that happened in my life. Um, but everybody, everybody is affected different. Everybody copes with it in a different way. You know, warrior outreach and the horses—it's what's—it's bringing my family here so they can cope with theirs with issues that they have and, and, and they can get uh, gratification from from uh, taking care of horses. And we come together closer as a family, that's what helps with my PTSD. The Warrior Outreach is a big help with mm -hmm. our PTSD. I just can't explain it. Like, they're just spiritual. They're just great creatures. And they help, they help, like, not think about it. And that's also when you, you meet other people and hear their stories, so that helps out too. I believe it's bringing us closer together. Um, the stress levels are way down when we get to come over here and ride, ride horses and, and pet the horses or brush them or just to spend time with the horses. It just reduces stress. It, and Mr. Rhodes is a great, he's great for letting people come out here and interact with his horses. What's going on up there? <laughs> Thought you were gonna come down on my head. Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> 
So Whitewater Express itself is a company that's been around for about 30 years. We started with a retail shop in Atlanta, moved to other rivers, the Nantahala, then the Ocoee. We have a big camp up there. And then in 2013, we moved onto the Chattahoochee River, opening rafting to a whole nother area, a whole new region, and it's really awesome. So we're the world's largest urban whitewater rafting. So you are rafting literally through the middle of the city. And so being so close to Fort Benning, it's fantastic, very convenient for lots of families and, and whatnot to come rafting upon family days, upon moving here, all sorts of stuff, and uh, it's really, really awesome. So we have big trips and uh, in the afternoon and, and milder trips in the mornings, really cool rafting experiences for our guests to be a part of, as well as a giant zip line that goes across the river and through the woods, and it's really, really fun. I gotta tell you, that's my, that's my fear. <laughs> They're gonna get me to do it today. Oh, you'll have a good time. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna break that and, and make that, that happen. So speaking of military families, because we also, uh, my husband was stationed here. For sure. And it, there's so much to do in Columbus that's outdoors, and that's why we love to come out It really here. is. And they said they love the outdoors. They're super excited about doing this, and they, they're just excited to be here. Well, I think that you've chosen a, a, a fantastic activity for them to do. You know, they're going on our classic trip, that mild adventure that's in the morning. I think mom was a little nervous this morning. I could see that. And so it's really fun to, to, to get it, people to have that shared experience, to go and do something together, yes. have that paddle together, conquer rapids together activity. That's just so much fun, really, really exciting. And uh, I'm glad to, to, to allow families to do that, to be a part of, you know, family reunions, youth groups, Boy Scouts, whatever the case may be. I'm love, that's my favorite part about this job is that shared experience that I get to be a part of getting families, getting people to have those shared experiences. Be, oh my gosh, I can't believe. And then would it be, I conquered my fear of heights or I, <laughs> or, you know, we made it through cut bait, the big rapid on our challenge trip. You know, we did that together and it was so awesome. You know, I love that. That's my favorite part, seeing the smiling faces, all that kind of stuff. Taking care of our families, we do offer military discounts yes. here, absolutely, and as well as uh, several ITTs across uh, the nation, uh, so tickets and whatnot at even a more discounted rate. So always look and check with your IT, local ITT as well as we'll honor military discounts here in the shop. Since we run rafting trips every hour on the hour, we have we run every day, it's a like Christmas and Thanksgiving, so that's even into the mile winners we have in Columbus. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then zip lining will run every two hours on the half hour mark. So there's lots of opportunities to have a lot of fun. Here you go. Hey camera. How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Then we went down the second lap of Wave Shaper, and then we went straight for the whole meat line, and then everybody just put their hands in the hub, and I was like, Woo! okay, here we go. All right. Yeah. Okay. Tap me in, Tap me I know, now it's my turn. We did a Facebook Live with you guys coming down, and I think everybody who's been watching is telling me I have to zip line. Yeah, you got to zip line. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. I'm, I'm petrified. I'm petrified. I'm glad you guys are class. I am. A little oh, hyperventilating. A little bit. Yeah. See, I'm a supporter of this group. I support. Show me some support. She was still screaming. That's going to be me. She's still screaming. All the way. He's still 27 screaming. seconds. That's 27 seconds. 27 seconds. Oh, 27 seconds. Not even half a minute. Not even half a minute. Right. One, it's a leap of faith. Two, three. So
National Infantry Museum in Columbus and Fort Benning, Georgia. We're here with Command Sergeant Major Stephen McLaughlin, U.S. Army, retired. Thank you so much for having us yes, today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for coming. I'm so glad to be here. This is a very special place for our family. When my husband uh, and was stationed here, it was one of the very first places that we came to. Uh, we were here three days, and my kids were at the boot camp. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. They were there. Uh, you know, the... Uh, I think I told you this before, but our boot camp is uh, one of the things that has progressed over the years, continue to grow. And I think on the second day, uh, mommy was late, and both of my kids got to do push-ups right when they got there. So that's some training for you. Well, there's nothing like doing a few push-ups to get your <laughs> blood pumping and uh, make you realize that uh, you know you don't want to show up late every day. That's right. I was afraid they were going to make mommy do it. Absolutely. But, you know, I still have to work on that. I have to work on it. <laughs> The, uh, the museum was actually dedicated in June of 2009. And when we dedicated the uh, parade field out here, we uh, seeded the parade field with soil from eight battles throughout our history. So when these young soldiers on Thursday and Friday, when they graduate, they're marching across the same hallowed ground our forefathers fought and died on to preserve the freedom of Americans. And these young soldiers are going forth to do the same. So when you come into the museum, you'll see our feature gallery, the last 100 yards. Yes. And as you go up the last 100 yards, you see the eight battles depicted where the soul came from. Mm -hmm. And those battles range from the Revolutionary War to our current day operations. The museum, uh, thanks to our visitors, was actually voted uh, US, in USA Today's Reader's Choice Award the best free museum in the United States. The museum was also a recipient in 2010 of uh, the Themed Entertainment Award. And the Themed Entertainment Award was actually presented to the museum in Hollywood uh, for the immersive environment that the museum creates as you go through it. So what we're trying to do is uh, to keep the museum relevant and give our uh, uh, give our visitors and our families, you know, just a little taste of what it's like in the day in the life of a soldier. So what we've created is a virtual reality combat simulator in which the uh, operators are provided a briefing, mm -hmm. and from there they will load up into three different platforms. Uh, so right now what they'll do is uh, uh, they will load up on a, uh, a Humvee, and they will um, execute a non-combatant evacuation operation, or NEO. And uh, as they do this, they roll into uh, roll off on the back of a C-17 aircraft, and uh, they'll they'll be able to uh, go into a theater of operations and uh, ex or engage enemy targets uh, in order to rescue some non-combatants from the hostile area. The crowd was really engaged, uh, <laughs> talking to each other, pointing out where the targets were located, and, uh, and uh, engaging the enemy. So uh, it looked like everybody had a really good time, and, and uh, that's exactly the atmosphere that we want to create for our visitors when they come here. An experience unlike any other. And we wanted to communicate. We were a unit. You know, we had to work. It's an awesome day today. It's been great. I'm here today with John Boyd, one of the owners of Golden Foundry and Machine Company in Columbus, Georgia. Thank you so much for having us You're here welcome. today. We were started in 1882 by two brothers, and my brothers and I are the fifth generation of the Goldens family. My great, great, great uncle and grandfather started the company. Um, my dad still is uh, the president of the company and runs operations here. And we've been here in Columbus, Georgia ever since 1882. Today, it's uh, myself, I'm the youngest of three brothers. Uh, my, my brother Ed and George and dad uh, are still here. Columbus, Georgia is a, is a barbecue town. And uh, we're a, we love food in the Boyd family, in the Golden family. Uh, and so, a couple of years ago, we started uh, talking about the idea about making a, a, a cast iron version of the Kamado cooker. This is the, this is the beginning of our casting process. We purchased uh, steel that we then put through a preheater and will eventually go right into a furnace. So with this raw steel, we're making cast iron. And we thought it was crazy. And so we decided to do it. Uh, and then we figured out it was crazy, but it was so good. And, um, and so after we made our first prototype, we realized we had something that was really fantastic and the folks were gonna like. Um, it's tough, it looks like barbecue when you look at it. Yes. And uh, it'll stand up. We're, being a family company, we've been around since 1882. We wanted to make a cooker that was not gonna be thrown away after five years. We wanted to be 
and make something that was going to last for a long time from our family to your family. This is amazing. I know. So just like a cast iron skillet might be handed down for generations, we wanted a cast iron cooker that you could buy today, but your grandchildren could be cooking on, you know, in 50 years. Uh, your tagline is the world's toughest cooker. World's toughest cooker. That's We're right. going to get ready to do that with the world's toughest people. That's right. That's, that's right. That's, United States good military. Fit. That's right. This is a good fit. So we're very excited. They like to eat too, right? That's right. Yes. What's that? We're cooking for an army. That's right. Cooking for an army. Love that. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> ben, we're so thankful that Lowe's is so very generous and takes care of their military community. Could you tell me a little bit about the military discount program? Yeah, so Lowe's has always upheld a strong commitment to taking care of our veterans mm -hmm. and, and active military. So, you know, back in May of this year, May 1st of this year, we, uh, we rolled out a new program that really would affect also our digital age a little bit. Okay. So we've never been able to actively uh, give our military discount to our online shoppers, which is a big part of our business and continues to grow. So with that, we have made it where you go online, you can go to www.lowes.com slash military, activate a My Lowe's card, which we've always had, tracking your receipts and things mm -hmm. like that. But now it's added the function to associate your military discount to that. So activating it, associating it with your military ID, we'll be able to give you access to our discount both in-store and online. So it's a great function. It's going to connect to a lot more people in a lot easier ways. And it's dangerous for me because I love to shop online. <laughs> so I'm just saying yes. it's going to yes. happen. Yes. So thank you again. Thank no you problem. very much no thank you for sharing that. That way we know and thank you for your generosity today for our show and for uh, helping us honor this military family. And I get to hug him now. <laughs> We had a great day yesterday with Jordan and Pamela and their girls in Columbus. We were whitewater rafting and zip lining and going to the infantry museum. And now we're at their house getting ready to do the makeover and come rain or shine, as you can see, it's raining. We're gonna work. So let's get started. With rain in the forecast, we knew we had to get started early and moving quickly. When we arrived, we saw the deck needed attention. So we began to work on repairing and refinishing the deck. We also added a fresh coat of paint to the doors and the jams to set the stage for this outdoor space makeover. Jordan and Pamela love spending time outdoors and they have a huge backyard. My idea is to create four distinct spaces, a seating area on the deck, a fire pit, a dining space, and an outdoor movie theater. Uh, I'm stepping blocks we made out of that log. Yeah. Are you planning on putting that center down? Yes. Okay. So if that's the case, then um, eventually we're going to have to get somebody to start painting them. That's how it's done, friends. That's how it's done. Join. Okay. Out here. It's my drawing. This is how I roll. I know, but this is how this is how I roll. Okay. With some mad skills. That's what I got, mad skills. <laughs> Right here. The trees, that's my version. Okay. They're circles. Maybe. You don't try, just trying to understand, just trying to understand your blueprints. Circles for trees. I'll just go with it. <laughs> Come on. <Yeah. laughs> Rob says I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Why doesn't this address come up? Seriously? I'm out in the woods. 
Mom, give me a signal. Woo! It's hot. It's Georgia heat. My name is TJ. I'm an active duty service member. I've been serving the United States Army for 17 and a half years. Looking forward to retirement. Um, came out here today to help feather vet fellow veterans because it's always nice and need to have somebody help you out. The Warrior Outreach has helped me a whole lot. Um, he's helped several hundreds, thousands of soldiers out, their families as well. Um, just a great organization. I wouldn't trade it for anything and I'm help him anytime and anywhere he needs me. So in-kind donations, volunteers, yeah. you can volunteer. The donate button on your website. Yep. This is an incredible, incredible foundation and you should help, help, help. We appreciate you so much. Bye Thank you. Flow. Thank you. I'm here with Jamie Keating from Epic Restaurant in Columbus, Georgia. Thank you for coming out today and being part of our show. Um, we are so excited that you took on the challenge to look at an MRE in a different perspective and show us what you could do with what is in an MRE. I, I definitely had to call, you know, some phone and friend pieces where I, I asked some folks to help me out, figure out how to do this. How do I cook this? What, so I said, well, you know, how are we gonna do a little dessert or have some fun now? All right. Now you may not have the luxury, of course, when you're out in the field with uh, China. Kind of plates. So I took, uh, uh, I made my own little uh, trail mix here with some dried cranberries and the nuts themselves. But if you want to play with it and take a challenge, maybe you know, say, hey guys, let's 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 see who can make you know do something better with an MRE out in the field with your canteen or you know maybe serve it on top of a one of your trucks or a, you know play with it. I yeah. love that challenge. So I took the uh, peanut butter and jelly, uh, the bread itself. I, inside is the peanut butter and on top is the strawberry jelly. Uh, but to have a little more fun with that, uh, I wanted to do uh, an ice cream. Okay. And we took the hot cocoa piece. So it's within inside of this mix right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add water to it. Just like out in the field, right in there. And you gotta follow your directions as well. <laughs> uh, calls for 400 milliliters. Uh, I'll do that. All right, All right so uh, we're gonna add our hot cocoa mix to our vessel here. And then as I move that to the side, if I may, uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in, assuming that you might be in a Arctic situation, a little <laughs> liquid nitrogen at 320, 340 degrees below zero. This is amazing. Well, you might be able to find this in the medic's tent. I'm not sure. All right, it's kind of a Dippin' Dodson style, but you know, almost like a hot chocolate sorbet. What? Okay. And with my spoon. Refreshing. Ice cream. Ice cream. Don't forget your spoon. <laughs> and if you want to take it a step further, please add your chiclets at this point in time. They came yes. with your MRE. Uh, this will not require the moist towelette, but you will also be equipped with these lighthouse napkins. We want to make sure that everybody stays nice and clean. Nice and clean. There you go. So that is our uh, step of our spin on a dessert. Uh, with our trail mix, added the cranberries dehydrated with a, uh, a warm cocoa that was warm at one point in time, but now it's warm in a different end of the spectrum, meaning hot, cold, and with the liquid nitrogen, and it's our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That is incredible, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. So I wanna put a challenge out to our military folks and have them send us photos of what they've done with their MREs. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com, moving with the military, and send us those pictures. I wanna share them with I you. I can't wait to see them. Awesome, we're very excited about that. Number one. Present your battle buddies. Guys, Let's go. Y'all are going down, man. No, we're going up. Y'all are going down. All right. Down. See this. We're going up to heaven. Up. Oh. What are we having today? We're having some pork roast. 
seasoned and uh, this is a little bit uh, tangy this little bit sweet sauce to dip it in then we have some chicken wings we got some hot wings on this side and we got some regular barbecue wings on that side all right here we go here's the moment the good thing is it tastes like pork <laughs> uh, we talked about it earlier was that's right you know making it taste like something it's not I mean we're going with the more of the spicier version right, All right. I've won a couple hot wing contests so this is how I go about eating them. I don't even oh. bring the bone to my that's right <laughs> this is what I'm putting before you today now this pork came from somebody that I know a little a little beautiful little sow named sweetie I have you some nice hot wings and then I gave you some of that sweet and sassy uh, I brought it all together, put a smack dab of time. Smack dab, right? Yeah. We're going with the pork first here. Um. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, here we go. For southern people, anyway. Mm hmm. The nice southern people. Smack dab. Uh, nice taste, nice flavor. All right, this is a tough decision I had to make. And you won't hold anything against me either way, would you? Not at all. all right. But at the end of the day, both dishes were fantastic. All right. I, I, I love to watch the teamwork that I saw. Woo! Uh, wonderful job, everybody, all around the board. But I don't think we would got the flavor we got That's unless right. we use these cookers. Right. Right? From Golden's Cast Iron Cookers. Right? Right. Could have done. Golden's Cast Iron Cookers. Right? They were fantastic. I love I love the setup they have here. Oh, uh, yeah. And it was, it was a lot of fun for oh, me yeah. to be part of this as well. Oh, okay. So, without uh, further hesitation, uh, I'm going to go ahead and award the winner of today's cook-off, today's cast iron challenge, to the men. <laughs> I told you, don't hold it against me now. And here they are, getting ready to see what we've done. Pam and Jordan have no idea what I've done to their backyard, so here we go. They're here. This is exciting. Oh. Hey guys. So this is it. Yay. In anticipation. I can't wait. Can I, can I, I go, her, please? I see her cheating, kind of looking. I just want to go just come already. On over. Come on over. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. See over there, man. Okay. All right, if y'all are working, ah, look how big that got. I was gone only for a few hours. Poof. <laughs> so I feel bad cool. for your converse. They were so light. Oh, they were. Like but you know what? Yep. Rain or shine. Yeah. Rain or shine. We're getting it done. Raining. Okay. <laughs> I just ready to. All right, ready? One. Wait, did I get over here? One, two, three. No, no, no. Okay, you ready? One. Two, three, open your eyes. Wow! Oh my God! Oh, man. <laughs> Come on out. I know it's a little rainy. You're gonna make me cry. You're gonna make me cry. Cry, cry, cry. Cry, cry. It's for you guys to enjoy. Thank you. Give us a reason to enjoy it. This is just a little something that we could do to say thank you both as a family, thank you for your service, and thank you for your support, because we know as no spouses, this is not easy. No, it's not. <laughs> thank you. Ray, make the camera around. around. Okay. <laughs> All of these people out here helped you. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Golden's cast iron cookers. Gave you. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> we wish you could be here. This is so awesome. I'm so glad you're happy. I'm very happy. I'm so thrilled. Look at everything. We did it some. So we did some mudslides earlier today. <laughs> it was fun. It was good times. It was raining pretty hard. You know, amazing. Did you guys enjoy whitewater rafting and zip lining? I loved every bit of it. It's been such an experience. It was so much fun. It's awesome. It, I think it's brought us. Closer and happier with each other as well. Awesome. I may not have been in the war with you, but I'm battling for you now. There's a reason you're still living. We'll get through this together somehow. I'll reach out my hand, stand up beside you. We'll fight this new fight for the rest of your life. More than a warrior. A soldier, you're a father's pride and a mother's prayer. You can't stop fighting, cause the battle's not over. You're somebody's hero, more than a warrior. That's amazing. I'm just so every step well, along well, the way of your lonely road back home. We were always there with you. No soldier ever walked alone. Where you've been won't change. But for those you hold close, it's where you go now that matters the most. More than a warrior, more than a soldier. You're a father's pride and a mother's.